Imagine you're a space marine on an alien planet going through a jungle of alien and exotic plants. You're walking by and then bam, a Tyranid pops out and grabs you. <laughs> The goal of today is to test out a color scheme based off the Orchid Mantis, a beautiful but very deadly to bugs that disguises itself as an orchid in order to trap and kill its prey. It uses a technique that's called aggressive mimicry, where it pretends to be a beautiful or even more beautiful orchid flower to attract its prey. I thought that that idea for the Tyranids would be so interesting. Imagine an entire alien species that is both alluring and creepy and deadly all at once. The unit I plan to test this on is the Lictor. Now, in this household, we are big fans of all Xenos races, and we already have a pretty large Tyranid army, but this one is going to specifically be mine, and I'm super excited to make them unique to my own taste with a pretty cool backstory. How the Orchid Mantis looks is that it seems to have a lot of bright pinks in high areas and its limbs and then really subtle whites, yellows, and those orchid spots. And I think that would look really, really cool as a whole army scheme. But first we need to see if I can pull it off. So this week, let's test it out. I'll be able to pull from a lot of things that I've been learning this past month. I think we can still utilize the speed paints that I had used last week for its fleshy underbits, and then use more traditional techniques with acrylic paints to get the high spots and those unique brown yellow dots that you see on the orchid flower. So let's try something new and have fun and let's get painting. All right, there are things I like and things that I think won't work and I need to change. His head going from the brown to the yellow spotted to the pink, I think looks really cool. It's very orchid-like and that was sort of what I was looking for. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I also like the scales on the top mandibles that I have right now. Now, the one thing that's bothering me that I don't like is the original speed paint wash that I did with the pink on the under part of the body. It's just, it's too much pink. It's way too much pink. I, I think I'm gonna repaint it white. I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna do all of the armor bits, like the carapace and stuff like that tomorrow and then see how it looks after I've got all the parts that I want to be pink done. I also want to find more places where I can put those dotted brown stripes. Typically on an orchid, it comes from like the base of the flower and then goes out. There's not many places on this many where I'm seeing that that could happen. I'm just experimenting here, having some fun. I've got an idea in my head that I'm still just trying to flesh out. I think once I get a little bit of a reset tomorrow where I paint the, his underbody white again, it'll start to look a little bit better instead of just so much pink. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Hi guys, day two and thank goodness it's starting to come together. Oh, last night I went to bed so frustrated because I felt like it was looking super ugly, but then I like late at night came back down and like rushed to try and figure out something else because I was just, it was just so caught up in my head that I started making the inside of his thing yellow and I was just like Mel you gotta put it down go to sleep come back the next day and then start working on something so that it looks the way that you're imagining it in your head and it is <laughs> it is I did the scales pink to like a light white pink it's looking I think personally looking really cool he's actually looking like an orchid tyranid monster thing and then it's just figuring out his skin and what I'm gonna do with it when I tried covering up the speed paint with white it's still pink because I only did one coat and that's actually not looking too bad so I'm thinking maybe I'll do that and then of course have to completely repaint the parts that I did yellow with white and then try some sort of pink wash again or like the speed paint super diluted so that it's just tinted, very tinted pink. We're pushing through, we're doing it. Let's keep going. I'm getting more excited the more I do this. Man, time is flying by and I'm having a lot of fun playing around with all the different colors and just seeing what happens. I still feel like there's something missing. I think he's just too pink and I keep adding more layers of white while trying to keep just that tint of pink on the skin and it still looks too pink to me, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I think the claws are looking cool. I'm in love with his tail. I think it looks just like the flower, the orchid flower and those veins you get. I think the hooves are looking really cute and I'm still waiting on the front of his face to dry, but I'm thinking green. I know, I know, I know, I'm a little nervous. Tell me if you're a little nervous, because I'm so a little nervous that it's maybe too much. I felt like he just needed something to pop, a different color, just something that makes you go, wow, look at that. So <laughs> hopefully after I put on more acrylics on top, I put the speed paint on first. Once I put a little bit more acrylics on that, some highlights, make it look a little bit more dynamic, that it'll come out really cool. That's all I have for today, but I'm excited to finish him up tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Hi guys, it's day three. I think I should be able to finish everything today. I was talking with a few good friends of mine about what I can do to just make it less pink, like less shrimp-like. I 
feel like it just looks like a giant shrimp right now or like a giant tyranid flamingo. And now that I have that picture in my head, I just can't get it out. So I was talking to a couple good friends of mine and one of them showed me this video about a guy that was doing a dinosaur that had pink undertones and it looked like on the white parts it was actually a light gray and i think that might work really well to sort of desaturate all that pink so maybe if i blend that in on the skin maybe make the pinks on the carapace just a little bit more on the red side to make it a fuchsia that might contrast it enough so it's not just one giant tyranid flamingo <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna finish highlighting his tentacles and finish just all the little details and hopefully be done by the end of this. So let's go. All right, the lictor is done. Painting the sky, I feel like I was really pushing the boundaries of what I can do and what I've learned. I feel like there's a lot that, you know, can be improved, but there are definitely some highlights that I really, really like about this piece. I think that his head with the little dots on it was uh, really interesting looking and really cool to do, as well as his tail. The highlighting on the carapace, I personally think looks great in person. It really pops. Things I wish I could improve. I think it just still looks a little bit too flamingo shrimp I I don't know if it's the actual model itself that just, since it has those like claw things up there, that it just looks very crustacean. <laughs> But I tried something new, and I think that that's important to do. You should do something that inspires you. Just try it out and see where you get with it. I feel like this piece is very me. I definitely think I can give him a big ol' hug if I saw him in person. He's so unassuming and so uh, unthreatening looking until it's too late. I definitely think I pulled that part off at least. All of your guys' input from the last video was so helpful. Using the speed paints again on this one, even though it wasn't a lot. I feel like all the advice that you guys gave really helped with this and I really appreciate it. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think he looks like I think he looks, which is very flamingo shrimpy, or does he kind of look like an orchid flower colors? And let me know if you've done any experiments with units and colors and what you've come up with. That could be really cool. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey again. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Give me your thoughts. Give me your, your tips. Give me anything that's going on in your mind. I love reading everything that you guys have to say. Thank you so much and keep painting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.